Welcome, Wanderlust Warriors. Toka here, your trusty guide from the traveling toucan, ready to take you on a virtual journey to the heart of Japan's culinary capital the vibrant and electrifying city of Osaka. Imagine yourself strolling through neon-lit streets, the tantalizing aroma of street food wafting through the air, and the buzz of a city that never sleeps surrounding you. Sounds exciting, right? Well, hold on to your passports because I'm about to unveil some insider secrets that will transform your Osaka adventure from good to absolutely unforgettable. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned Japan explorer, I've got a treasure trove of essential do's and don'ts that will help you navigate this dynamic metropolis like a pro. From avoiding cultural faux pas to discovering hidden gems, these tips will ensure your trip is smoother than the finest sake and more enjoyable than winning at Pachinko. So, grab your chopsticks and let's dive into the wonderful world of Osaka trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be booking your tickets faster than you can say, takoyaki. Do. Embrace the food culture. When visiting Osaka, embracing the food culture is an absolute must. Known affectionately as, Japan's kitchen, Osaka is a true paradise for food lovers. The city's culinary scene is deeply rooted in its history, with many dishes originating here during the post-war era when food was scarce. Today, Osaka's streets are lined with an incredible array of food options, from street vendors to high-end restaurants, all showcasing the city's passion for good eating. When you're in Osaka, make sure to try the local specialties that have made the city famous. Takoyaki, those delicious octopus-filled balls, were invented here in the 1930s and have since become a beloved street food across Japan. Okonomiyaki, a savory pancake filled with various ingredients, is another Osaka staple that literally means, grilled as you like it. Don't miss out on kushikatsu either these deep-fried skewers of meat, seafood, and vegetables are a perfect example of Osaka's creative approach to cuisine. For the best food experience, head to the Dotenbori area. This vibrant district is the epicenter of Osaka's food scene, with countless restaurants and street food stalls offering everything from traditional dishes to modern fusion creations. As you explore, don't be afraid to join the locals in slurping your noodles loudly in Japan. This is actually considered a compliment to the chef and a sign that you're enjoying your meal. Don't. Eat while walking. This might seem strange to many of us, but in Osaka, it's considered impolite to eat while walking. The Japanese prefer to sit down and enjoy their meals. If you buy street food, look for nearby benches or designated eating areas. It's all about savoring the moment and respecting public spaces. Do. Use public transportation. Osaka has an excellent public transportation system. The subway and buses are efficient, clean, and punctual. Get yourself an IC card like Ecoca or Pasmo for easy travel. It'll save you time and hassle. Plus, you'll get to experience how locals move around the city. Don't. Be loud on public transport. Speaking of public transport, remember to keep your voice down when riding trains or buses. The Japanese value peace and quiet in public spaces. Avoid talking on your phone or having loud conversations with your travel buddies. It's all about being considerate to others around you. Do. Visit Osaka Castle. Osaka Castle is an absolute must-see attraction for anyone visiting Japan. This historic landmark stands as a testament to the country's rich feudal past, offering visitors a fascinating glimpse into a bygone era. The castle's impressive architecture and stunning grounds make it a visual treat throughout the year. However, if you're lucky enough to visit during cherry blossom season, usually in late March to early April, you're in for an extra special treat. The castle grounds transform into a sea of delicate pink blossoms, creating a truly magical atmosphere that's perfect for capturing unforgettable photos. Don't miss the chance to climb to the top of the castle tower. The panoramic views of Osaka's sprawling cityscape from up there are simply breathtaking. On a clear day, you can see for miles, taking in the mix of modern skyscrapers and traditional buildings that make up this vibrant city. It's not just about the views, though. Each floor of the castle houses interesting exhibits about its history and the samurai era, so you'll learn a lot as you make your way up. For photography enthusiasts, Osaka Castle is a dream come true. Whether you're capturing the castle's majestic exterior reflected in the moat, the intricate details of its architecture, or the sweeping city views from the top, you'll find endless opportunities for amazing shots. Don't forget to explore the surrounding Osaka Castle Park too. With its beautiful gardens, ancient gates, and stone walls, it offers plenty of picturesque spots to discover. So make sure your camera or smartphone is fully charged, you'll definitely want to remember this experience. Don't. Smoke on the streets. Osaka has strict smoking regulations. You can't smoke while walking on the streets. Look for designated smoking areas if you need to light up. 
These areas are usually marked and easy to find. It's part of keeping the city clean and respecting non-smokers. Do. Try the onsen experience. If you're feeling adventurous, try visiting an onsen or public bath. It's a quintessential Japanese experience. Just remember to wash thoroughly before entering the bath and never wear a swimsuit it's nude bathing only. Don't worry, it's separated by gender. Don't. Wear shoes indoors. This is a big one. In many places, including some restaurants, temples, and definitely in people's homes, you'll need to take off your shoes. Look for slippers provided at the entrance. It's about keeping spaces clean and respecting Japanese customs. Do. Learn basic Japanese phrases. While many people in Osaka, especially in tourist areas, speak some English, learning a few basic Japanese phrases goes a long way in making your trip more enjoyable and culturally immersive. Simple greetings like, Konnichiwa, for hello and, Arigato gozaimasu, for thank you can make your interactions much smoother. The locals really appreciate the effort, and it shows respect for their culture. Beyond these basics, learning phrases like, sumimasen, excuse me, can be incredibly useful for getting attention or apologizing in various situations. When dining out, knowing how to say, oishi dezu, it's delicious, can bring a smile to your server's face. For getting around, underscore underscore wa doko dezu ka, where is underscore underscore, can help you find your way. Don't worry about perfect pronunciation, even attempting these phrases will often be met with enthusiasm and appreciation. Remember, in Japan, politeness is highly valued, so adding, kudasai, please, to your requests is always a good idea. If you're ever stuck, ego ga hanasi masu ka, do you speak English, can help you find someone who might be able to assist you further. Learning these few phrases can significantly enhance your experience in Osaka, making your interactions more meaningful and your journey more rewarding. That wraps up our top 5 do's and don'ts for visiting Osaka. Remember, these tips are about respecting local customs and making the most of your trip. Osaka is a fantastic city with so much to offer. From its incredible food scene to its rich history and modern attractions, you're in for an amazing experience. Before we go, here's a bonus tip. Don't forget to try the famous Osaka sense of humor. The city is known for its comedy, so don't be surprised if locals crack jokes or use wordplay. It's all part of the Osaka charm. Thanks for tuning in to the Traveling Toucan. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel tips and adventures. Until next time, happy travels!